August 23rd, 2018. I'm Yuri Garcia. And I'm Vanessa Flores. We have many important announcements and exciting events to share with you this morning. Attention sixth graders, do you want to get involved and help make big decisions for a school? There's one position open for a sixth grade student to be part of Mendes School Site Council. You would be an important part of our school's decision making process. You can help decide how we spend our money and what programs we have here at Mendes. School Site Council members meet once a month and if you are elected, you would be part of School Site Council for all three of your years here at Mendes. What a great way to get involved. I have really bad eyesight. <laughs> okay. Don't Wait, you want us to go a little bit? If you are interested in running for the position, see Mrs. Hyatt in room 214 or in her office, or you can just let any teacher know as they can give you the Google link to submit your name and info, and will be on the ballot. Elections will be on September 6th in the first period. Map testing starts today in all math classes. Students, please read and respond to each item carefully. The yearly math test will take place next week starting on Monday, August 27th. Do you know that we, we are only two weeks away from our contact with Eris? I know, it's so exciting. Who are we going to talk to? We don't know yet, but there are six astronauts up there right now. They are part of a Mission 56. One of the astronauts is Serena Chancellor. She launched to the International Space Station June 2018. She is the first Cuban-American astronaut and the only woman currently on the ISS. Check out the video. I remember watching a shuttle launch one day and my father came up to me and said, do you want to work for NASA? I said, yes, I do. And he said, well, that's great. You need to be an engineer. And of course, my dad was an engineer. I followed my dad's advice that he gave to me at an early age about being an engineer and went to the George Washington University in Washington, D.C. Uh, and then about midway through my engineering curriculum, I had a lot of friends who were actually pre-med engineers. And they said, Serena, you need to, you need to think about medicine, you'd be a great doctor. And so during college, I actually spent a lot of my time teaching martial arts. I um, learned Kung Fu when I was in high school and in undergrad, I was looking for a little bit of a job and, and looking for a school to train at. And so I, I found a school in the southeast part of DC, not the best part in the world, but um, really good instructors. And I used to take the Metro uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday from uh, GW's campus down there. Um, I started training there myself just to have more physical fitness. And then they said, hey, we thought you'd be really good with kids. Would you mind teaching a kids class on Mondays and Wednesdays? After finishing my undergraduate degree in electrical engineering, um, I was accepted to University of Texas uh, Health Science Center at Houston, their medical school, right in the medical center, and started my medical training there. Um, when I was a fourth year medical student, I knew I wanted to do a rotation at NASA, but when I came down in October of 2000, I learned that there was a special program that combined internal medicine, which is medicine for adults and, and what I love, with aerospace medicine. And that program existed at the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston. My personal journey, you know, it started off as an engineer, turned into a physician, which I absolutely love. And a lot of people say that the journey along the way is the best part in getting to your end destination. And it really has been, because I absolutely love um, being a doctor. Uh, but at the same time, since I was little, I've always wanted to be up there. I've always wanted to be in space. So I worked space station operations uh, in Mission Control, or FICR-1, as we call it for space station. Spent a lot of time in Star City looking after the astronauts who were training out there. So I got a little bit of a preview as to what their lives were like. So I do work as a Capcom. One of my favorite jobs, actually. I love talking to the crew because I know they're up there, they're working hard, and sometimes just hearing a friendly voice is really nice. So I have been to Antarctica, and that was one of my neatest analogs. I did that from the 2010 to 2011 season. So I spent two months in Antarctica and six weeks um, living on the ice in a tent. We had a mountaineer who was the leader of our team, a very small team of four, um, and we were by ourselves. There's no bugs, there's no ants, there's no animals. Unless you're near the coast, then you have the seals, you know, and you have the penguins. I still have dreams at night where I hear the wind hitting the tent, um, and when the wind's not blowing, it's just absolutely silent. There's nothing out there but you and the ice and your tent mates. Thanks for tuning in with us this morning, Mustangs. Have a thrilling Thursday. Stay respectful, responsible, and ready. Goodbye. Goodbye.